Senator Wanyonka coming to you. Yes. Why in the first place do you think 10 years after the promulgation of Katiba and um, I mean 13 years and 10 years after the first government since we promulgated that constitution um, functions that were devolved as the constitution establishes that have been largely handled by the national government? Making an announcement as to what the functions that are, the, the functions that are supposed to be transferred is, is very easy. But in reality, effecting or implementing these functions uh, has not been very easy. Because I sit in the, in the budget committee, I sit in the finance committee, and I can tell you that as, as they are doing their job, which constitutionally they are mandated to do in terms of deciding and coming up with this structure on how which functions are being devolved further mm -hmm. to the county government. Uh, the issue that has been there, and uh, I'm really hoping that uh, the government of uh, President Ruto is going to keep its word. The problem has been that the executive has very slowly and very painstakingly uh, been acting as if they actually don't want these functions to be devolved. Yeah. And the reason for that is very obvious. The amount of money that um, um, under revenue allocation that we are having to the county governments, as you saw from last time, is about 385 billion. Yes, mm -hmm. 85 billion. And yet we say the amount of money that we had expected was 410. Then the government said, no, uh, we feel we are having a problem with our debts and all that. We said, OK, fine, if that is a position you're, t you're taking, we agree with you. But what happened to those functions that you need to devolve further? Now, from the announcement which the president make, yeah. I hope that he will keep his word. Mm -hmm. I hope that what they have done will not be just another report that is going to be shelved. That these functions, it's true, they need to be devolved. The functions need to actually benefit Kenyans. The problem that I'm worried about, and maybe I hope we'll come to that, yeah. is that we have also noted, uh, because I also sit in the CIPA committee, mm -hmm. that all these functions, even when you're going to devolve them, then you are devolving corruption. All right, I believe that's a Because matter. there's a money element involved. Yes, there's, money, there's a money element involved. If you look in the paper today, uh, seven, eight billion shillings, as the Auditor General said, has been misused and basically wasted by water companies. And yet water companies have been actually devolved to the county government. Okay. Even when some of these water companies have not streamlined yeah. their functions in totality. Like in Kisi, we have a problem where Yamira wants to be on its own and Kisi County wants, uh, okay. did not want to be on its own. On, but Yamira has said, look, let us be allowed to run our, our affairs separately. The argument Yamira has been making is that actually the Kisi County, uh, it's called Kawasco, okay. Water Services Board has been mismanaging, if you can accept okay. that term, okay. the functions of the water services and all that, that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. I really hope that uh, the way the president said that he's going to be paying, uh, releasing funds from the exchequer on time, he has done that. In fact, now as a senator, I receive a report on a monthly basis how much money the government has released okay. and what is going to, going to go to the county governments. Mm -hmm. I also hope that the government will come up with a strategy where they tell us what they are going to devolve, the timelines, okay. and what funds are going to follow in the coming budget. Okay.